Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing personal banking uh, and we're specifically discussing these bank books in Thailand. These are from different banks. One here is from SCB, Siam so Commercial Bank. One here is from Bangkok Bank. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because I talk about it rather frequently with clients, both in the office. I've talked about bank books somewhat frequently on this channel. Um, it's a topic that does come up, especially in the context of immigration, and especially moving forward now from 2019, where rules have changed with respect to retirement and marriage visas. Uh, but I often find it's interesting because a lot of folks don't even know what these are. Um, and th this, this is what they look like. They're bank books. And they're, they're literally, they maintain a balance. They're issued in people's names. They, you know, there's a balance associated with them. This one's in my name. Um, you know, the... These things are antiquated by sort of American banking standards. Um, I don't think they've used bank books in the United States probably since the early 90s, maybe even the late 80s. Um, it just isn't something that's frequently used. But Thailand still uses them, and they use them frequently. Uh, the banking system uses them in the context of personal savings accounts. Um, so this is also going to be the main document that people have to deal with with respect to uh, proving up income or assets, uh, specifically financial assets, associated with things like retirement and marriage visas here in the kingdom. Um, it's just going to be something that has to be dealt with. Um, so I decided to go ahead and make a video about them. This is what they look like. Uh, if you lose one, it can be kind of a problem. Uh, but basically, you know, bank books are used in Thailand. They're used frequently with respect to the immigration process. They're used on a day-to-day -day basis in a personal banking capacity. And they're just something that, you know, it comes up and we have to deal with. Um, so those who are going to be renewing retirement or marriage visas in the coming years uh, will probably become quite familiar with these. But uh, for those who are not yet, have never been to Thailand and looking to possibly retire here, uh, looking to do banking in Thailand and have never done so, um, yes, they still use these, they still exist, and um, you know, I don't see that they're going away anytime soon.